It is better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak and remove all doubt of it. Abraham Lincoln, but I believe it was originally discovered through the Bible and then translated into something a little bit more humorous because there is a quote of similar fashion in the Bible. Either way, absolutely love it. Another quote that comes to mind that could tie into that quote is you are not entitled to your opinion. You are entitled to your own informed opinion. A lot of times people speak and break silence not to educate, but just to hear themselves talk. This is not healthy, fellas. When you break silence, you should be breaking silence to positively impact and to educate, not just spew your uneducated opinion. Let's be more wise, let's be more informed, and let's be more patient. Patience is a virtue. So when you break silence, ask yourself, am I actually about to educate? Am I actually about to positively impact or am I just speaking to hear myself talk? <laughs> Let it marinate, fellas. All right, in this video, we are going to be showing you how to perform Arataki Ito's rotation at an optimal level from my experience, from my personal experience. I'm not saying this is the damn best rotation out there on the internet. You never gonna find a better rotation, fam. I'm not saying that, but it works very well, it's very comfortable, and once you get used to it, you're gonna like it. Now, we are using the Serpent Spine, but this is a universal rotation. You can use it with any weapon. However, it's, it's all the more important to do with the Serpent Spine because of the stacks of the Serpent Spine. They can only be accrued one time every four seconds. Now, there's a problem with this, boys. The problem is the Husk of Opulent Dreams is going to make you lose a stack every second you're on the field not dealing geo damage. When you're waiting on your stacks to come up, your Husk of Opulent Dream stacks are going down. But it's not an issue if your rotation is optimal. Basically what this means is with the Serpent Spine and honestly with any other weapon that even doesn't have to worry about this issue, Ito needs to be your front man. Because if he's not your front man with the Serpent Spine, then you're gonna start the abyss off, which you can't switch your characters in the abyss. Once you choose whoever the hell you choose as your front man, you cannot swap to somebody until you start the challenge. But if Ito is not your front man and you start that challenge, you're gonna have four stacks of opulent dreams up. As soon as you switch over to your Ito, you're gonna have zero serpent spine stacks. Whereas if you reverse it, you put him as your front man and you wait 16 seconds to get the stacks up, your husk of opulent stacks are gonna be at zero, but guess what? You can collect them while he's not even on the field and you can get one every time you do geo damage. So you want him to be your front man because as soon as you, uh, you get all your stacks up with the Serpent Spine or whatever other weapon, you don't even have stacks. As soon as you start the damn abyss, the first thing you want to do is throw out Ito. You get one stack immediately. As soon as you throw him out and he hits somebody, doesn't matter anybody, you get one stack immediately. That means now all we have to worry about is getting three more stacks of the Husk of Opulent Dreams. And that's gonna take nine seconds of Ito being off the field. This is where your rotation comes into play. Now, you definitely wanna have full stacks before you pop Ito's ult because he snapshots defense. So, if you pop Ito's ult and you have one stack of Opulent Dreams, you are gonna get 6% defense. And that's it for the whole duration of the ult. If you pop Ito's ult and you have four stacks of Opulent Dreams, you're going to get an additional 24% defense because he snapshots the defensive effect of the Husk of Opulent Dreams as well as any other defensive effects of your squad. So you have to make sure that all of your defensive buffs are activated before going into Ito's ult. So as I said before, the first thing you want to do as soon as you get your stacks up or if you're using a different weapon, you want to throw out this guy right here. He's going to give you one stack. You're going to switch over to Goro. Pop his elemental skill. Switch over to the third person, whether that be Zhongli or an Albedo. You're going to pop their skill and their ult, which is going to kill even more time. Finally, you're going to switch over to that fourth person. Pop their ult and their skill if need be. Switch back over to Goro. Pop his skill and his ult. And at this point, by the time you switch over to Ito, nine seconds will have gone by, fellas. We are going to show some very meticulous footage as I'm talking about this, do not worry. It's gonna be much more crisp and clean than what I'm what I'm showing you right here. But basically, 
You throw out Ushi, you pop Goro, switch over to Zhongli, activate his shield, activate his ult, and then switch over to that fourth character, whoever it may be, activate their skill and their ult, switch back over to Goro, pop his skill and his ult, and then switch over to Ito, pop ult. There you go, nine seconds. You got the full Husk of Opulent Dream stacks. You got your full Serpent Spine stacks, if that's what you're rocking. And the reason I keep saying it doesn't matter if you have a Serpent Spine or a different weapon is because you still want to run this rotation because we need Ito to have full superlative stacks before he goes into his ult as well. That way you can just go right into the Unga Bunga. If you don't have full superlative stacks, you're already off on the wrong foot in terms of dealing maximum DPS. So throwing Ushi out there first and foremost, boom, Ushi gives four superlative stacks all by his lonesome while he's over here jamming out my little man over here jamming out and giving you four superlative stacks come here look look at him look at him he's all about it bro he's all about it <laughs> who wants to smoke who wants to smoke so basically he throw him out as soon as he hits that's one stack and then every time he takes damage he gets a stack every two seconds now he's only out on the field for six seconds but he's gonna get hit two times he literally is a aggro so he's gonna get hit two times and then when he leaves the field he guarantees you another stack that's four freaking stacks in total fellas and then when you pop ito's old after the entire duration you can throw him out again if you don't have c1 ito to get that fifth final stack and then go right into his ult all right so let me show you guys a quick demonstration of how this combo is actually going to work in real time and an actual live combat experience All right, so we're gonna pull up to this bad boy. We're gonna wait on our Serpent Spine stacks to accumulate. And this is probably the most annoying part about using the Serpent Spine. You just gotta wait 16 seconds for them stacks to come up. All right, so we got our stacks up. The first thing we're gonna do from here is we are gonna go throw out Ushi like we mentioned before. Boom, that's one stack. We're gonna go through our rotation. We're waiting on this guy over here to try to slice me, and then I use the iframes of Zhongli's ult to ult. Pop Bennett ult, pop Goro ult and skill, switch over to him, and guess what? Our stacks are all the way up, fellas, and all we gotta do is Unga Bunga. Now, I have C1 Ito, so I'm able to do an eight hit combo off rip. So, I wanna rewind this, guys, just to show you exactly what we just did here. So after we do our eight hit Unga Bunga combo, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, we throw out Ushi again, and then we go right into our full N4 combo, and then go right back into another five hit superlative strength combo. In total, that's gonna be an 18 hit combo if you have a C1 Ito. Now, another method that I like to do, and this is good even if you don't have C1 Ito as well, you literally pop Ito's ult, throw Ushi out first. Then you go into your superlative Unga Bunga combo. Once that finishes, you go into your N4 combo, back into your superlative combo, and right before Ito's ult expires, you're able to get off an extra Ushi. And if you have a fully decked out Ushi and a good build on Ito, that's 200k damage on a crit strike for Ushi, two times in duration of the ult alone, not even including all the other shit you just did. Juicy, baby. Juicy. Now, unfortunately, in this clip, the my guinea pigs couldn't survive the combo. They died like almost <laughs> like a third of the combo into it. And that's going to wrap it up for my rotations and my way of doing my combos with the boy Ito. I hope I brought some kind of value to y'all. If I did, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you want to see yourself some more good old quality content. Take care. I'll catch you on the flip side.